Hello and welcome to the BTEC Applied Science Taster Lesson for Year 11 students at Ryburn Valley High School. This is a bottle of a well-known blackcurrant juice drink. And this is Mr Lord's drink. Our challenge is to use colorimetry to work out the exact concentration of blackcurrant juice that is in Mr Lord's drink so we can keep him happy and make sure that we get the concentration correct. The first thing we need to do colorimetry is to make up something called a serial dilution using the 100% solution of the blackcurrant juice. So I'm going to measure out using a measuring cylinder and a pipette if I need to, 10 cubic centimetres in there. That's my 100%. I'm now going to dilute it by half by taking half out. That's five cubic centimeters. Just a bit more. And mixing that with five cubic centimeters. Of distilled water. Distilled water is water that's got nothing else dissolved in it. It's a pure sample of water. Get rid of that squirty lid that's not doing me any favours there. Now you'll notice I use different pipettes. I'm not mixing my blackcurrant juice and my water pipettes. like so. I'm going to continue making the cereal dilution by now taking half of this, five, in here and adding five of water in the next tube and then take five of that one and add that to five of water and then five of that one and add that to five of water and so on and so forth so that the dilution is going up by halves or the concentration is going down by half. 100% 50%, 25, 12.5, 6.25, 3.125. And then after that, we have our distilled water. So there you can see the serial dilution. As we go from left to right, the concentration is getting more and more diluted and the colour is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. If we compare that to the original glass of juice there, we can see that it's going to fit somewhere within that range. We could be vague about where it is, or we can use colorimetry to help us be absolutely exact. Colorimetry at BTEC is done in one of the coursework assignments in year 12 for chemistry. And it's really simple. We just use these little gadgets called a colorimeter. Switch it on. And we can either measure red, green or blue absorbance or transmission. I'm going to set it to absorbance today and I'm going to see how much red light is absorbed by these sort of reddish solutions. So R for red and A for absorbance. Now the reading is currently negative because there's nothing in it. We have to calibrate the colorimeter using the distilled water and then we work upwards starting with the most dilute into the most concentrated and record the reading how much light is absorbed for each sample we record them in a table and compare that then to the actual sample from Mr Lord's glass what goes into the colorimeter is called a cuvette little sample tube here it's like a cuboid tube has tells you at the top where to hold it and it has a little lid on it as well it goes on like that to stop us leaking anything when we put it inside the colorimeter so I'm going to calibrate the colorimeter now with distilled water and then I'm going to work my way through each of these samples and record the reading 
So I have my values for each of the different samples in my serial dilution. The last thing I need to do is to take a sample of the actual juice and put that into the colorimeter so I can compare the values on a graph. So I'll just pipette some of the sample into one of the cuvettes. They have ridges on one side telling you which side to hold. You don't do it right up to the top. Always put a lid on them so that we don't get any spills inside the colorimeter. Make sure the colorimeter is on. Now that was the last one I did there. It was the most concentrated. That was 100%. I'm just going to recalibrate by putting the zero, the distilled water, in there. You can see, if I lift that up, hopefully, that it's, it doesn't like it if I lift it up. Still reading zero. Yeah, I'm not going to lift it up, but it still reads zero. Let's recalibrate that again. And so our last one is the actual juice sample. And the reading on here, 233. I'm going to write that down on my results table. So if you excuse wobbly camera for just a moment, I'll show you the results table that I've drawn. So on a whiteboard, I've got the concentration, the percentage going up from zero up to 100 down my left hand column. And then the absorbance, the units are just arbitrary units. And I've recorded that every time for each sample, just as the screen has shown me there. You can see the sample from Mr. Lord's juice there, 233, sort of going between 233, 234. And I've just made a note of that up the side. What I'm now going to do is plot this information onto a graph and then we can work out the exact concentration of this sample. Just a note on scaling graphs, the concentration goes up to 100. So the maximum my axis needs to go up to is 100 here. I have to bear in mind that the numbers from my table were not going up evenly. They were in halves, 100 and then 50. Well, 50 is halfway between 0 and 100, which is here, 10 centimetres. 25 is then halfway again, here, and so on. It's really, really important that we scale axes correctly. And in colorimetry, this part often catches people out. Now that I've plotted the points, you can see that this is going to be a straight line graph. On my results table, I recorded that Mr. Lord's juice had a reading of 233. So that's obviously going to fit in somewhere here between these two numbers, these two readings, which means the value must be somewhere between 25 and 50%. But we can be far more accurate by using the straight line graph. So I find the absorbance of 233 between 200 and 300 and I've drawn dotted line across to my straight line that I plotted and that goes down 34% that works out on the x-axis. So that's the concentration that Mr. Lord likes to have his Ribena at and we've worked that out using colorimetry which is a technique we use as part of BTEC Applied Science Unit 2, which is one of the pieces of coursework we do here at Ryburn. And the last thing we've got to do, as always, is safely tidy up all of our equipment. We always tidy up after ourselves after practicals and put everything neatly away.